Hello everyone and welcome once again to another painting tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to paint the praying paladin. As always we remove the mold lines with a file and we mount the mini on core caps so as to paint it easier. We wash our metal mini very well with soap water and then we prime it with black primer. To this mini I'm going to show you and test three things. First of all I'm going to show you the non-metallic metal technique. That means that the color will give the impression of metallic with normal paints. Secondly we are going to test again the new Vallejo Game Air series but this time mostly with the brush. Finally, I will show you how to use an airbrush with a bigger needle than my 0.15 needle the Infinity have and test it on this really small mini. So today we paint with the airbrush Harden and Steebark Evolution with a needle 0.2 mm. But if you think this half millimeter makes not big difference, soon I will upload a video to show you these differences. So let's begin with the silver. To achieve the silver we create a gradient from a deep grey to an off-white. Here sorby grey with black and then sorby grey. As the greys goes brighter we have to be more careful because the bright cuts up the eye. We continue with cold grey. Next we highlight with Stonewall Grey. Let's create the shadows. We want some sweet shadows. For that we are going to use Dark Flesh Stone with a little black. Now we're going to darken it a bit more. We use dark flesh tone and black 1 to 3. Now that we have normalized our mini, let's go to the extreme highlights. We use Stonewall Grey and Dead White 1, 2, 3. With straight black, very very carefully, we do the final shadows. I base coated the cloth with dead white.
Let's see one easy technique. We apply a diluted sick green. Then we use a very diluted dark green, mostly to the recesses. Now with sea green again, we correct the highlights. Then with scorpion green, we do the higher highlights. As you can see, with this technique, you can make easy and smooth highlights and shadows. If you didn't catch the technique, let's do it again. We begin with desert yellow. We dilute very well earth We correct the highlights with desert yellow And the higher highlights with bone white I base coated his tiny face with dwarf skin. I used desert yellow to create some shadows. Then with bronze flintstone and some bone white I created the highlights. I base coated the hair with charred brown, then I highlighted them with dark flesh tone. If we want to go the mini one step up, we have to do two things. To darken with black between the colors and the parts and extreme highlight the edges. We begin with shadows, we dilute the paint 1 to 10. I don't use something special for dilution, just tap water. To make a smooth transition between the extreme highlights, we are going to use two highlights. The first highlight is Stonewall Yellow. The second extreme highlight is with dead white. 
Be totally patient at this point because this will pop up the mini. A good brush will help you to do that. This one is a long hair brush, 9 O's. Time for the blade. Many people paint the blade with color transition between blue and white. So, I thought that it is a good idea to change it a bit. I mask the one side of the blade with masking tape. I applied Squid Pink, Alien Blue, Magic Blue and Imperial Blue. When we end with the one side, we switch to another side. Yes, maybe I didn't choose the best color variation, but it is a bit different than the others. Let's move on to non-metallic metal gold. We base coat with dark flesh tone. With gold yellow we build the highlights. Then with moon yellow and at the edges we use dead white. We varnish the mini and we go straight to the base. Tree bark is ideal to give us the rock texture. Very easy, we glue the pieces together with hot glue. We drill holes on the bark where the mini is supposed to go. This mini has attached its own base and it was very difficult to remove it. To get rid of this base, I thought it is easier to cut a little bit of the bark and dip inside it. So I sketched the outline and then I cut it with my drill. When I reached the desired depth, I primed the bark with black primer. Then I glued the mint to the base and I filled the gaps with the plastic putty from Vallejo. After about 6 hours, the putty was strong enough to paint it. 
I used black primer again. Time to paint the rock. With dry brush with Sorby Grey, then with Stonewall Grey, and finally with Gulf Grey. Of course, we glue his hand. I randomly applied pigments diluted with water. When pigment was dry, with a clear brush, I removed the excess pigment. To fix the pigment in place, I varnished with a matte varnish. Let's see our creation. That's all for today, I hope you enjoyed it. You can always subscribe to my channel and follow me everywhere. And I hope to see you again in the next video. Bye!